What's up, everybody? I'm Jesse Kazam. Welcome back to another Escape from Tarkov video. This is another one of our lessons from Beyond the Grave, where we take a look at a clip from my stream where I died, and we kind of figure out what happened and what we can pull from that to do better next time. I stream Escape from Tarkov on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you liked the video, think about dropping a like, commenting down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. All three of those things really, really help me out as a creator. So thank you so much to those that do that. But with all that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So this episode is all about when sprinting will get you killed in Escape from Tarkov. We've got two clips to watch uh, for this. So what we'll do is we'll watch the clip back in its entirety, and then we'll kind of go back and talk about what the thought process was and what ultimately got me killed. The setup here for this clip is that I'm on customs. I'm in the dorms. Uh, at this point, I've already killed three PMCs. I know there's another PMC in the building, and I know that there's another one outside. Uh, so I'm kind of trying to figure out what to do, and then this happens. So let's go ahead and watch the clip. Scared this guy peeking from outside if I push this guy, but I got to push one of them, right? Like I can't just hold forever. I can't. I just don't want to. Push out a face shield. Upstairs. Wow, I didn't expect him to push me. He didn't go for a reload. So, uh, it's always frustrating to see your own deaths back, especially when you just kind of sprint directly into your enemy. But so you kind of hear me communicate there at the beginning that I know that there's a guy outside. I don't want to peek any windows because I'm afraid that he's going to uh, basically just shoot me through the window. I know that there's a guy inside. I want to push one of them. Uh, we could probably do a whole video on uh, how tense it is when you get into firefights and then there's a lull before you get into another one. Like I said, I've killed three people at this point. There's loot all over the place. I really want to secure this loot. And that starts to weigh into your decision making and that decision making starts to fall apart. So I'm already tense. I want this fight to be over so I can get this loot and leave. I want to push one of these guys. I don't want to sit here forever. I hear that this guy's upstairs. And this is where I made an audio mistake where I thought I heard him run all the way to the other side. And I thought basically he pushed over to these rooms that were on this side of the staircase. Because my thinking is that if I push him up on third, I'm going to think that he's probably by marked room and peak that. So if he's thinking that, he's trying to get on this side to maybe shoot me in the back. So I sprint over to the staircase and I just didn't expect him to be here at all. I thought he was upstairs. I thought he was on the other side. I made the good decision because I kind of sprinted around this corner and wasn't prepared for him to not try and kill this guy. He got shots off first. So I just need to get downstairs. I need to get away from him. Now, you hear me after I die say that I assumed that with how many shots that he sent at me, especially down these stairs, he was going to go for a reload and move back up the stairs. So I didn't shoot very many shots from my magazine. I know I can drop this guy. So I sprint towards him to go for that push while he's getting a reload and he's right there. So that was a that was a time where having a 60 round mag really helped him out uh, because he was able to just kind of keep shooting at me. But even if I, this is once again, where sprinting absolutely gets you killed. Sprinting around corners is almost never a good idea if you know that there's an enemy close. So once again, this, this video isn't to say that sprinting is never good or a good solution or tactic in a fight. It absolutely is being able to move quickly from one place to another. But sprinting around corners, you'll see this theme in the other video too, uh, was a terrible idea because ju just because you think, once again, especially with Tarkov's audio, just because you think you know where your enemy is and you think you hear where they are or you think you know what they're going to do doesn't mean you're always going to be right. So if I had walked this corner, maybe ADS'd uh, or even ready for a point fire, if I had walked this corner or held a tighter angle on it, I could have seen that this guy was moving this way. And when you look at how much time, I mean, I get around that corner and up the stairs before right there is about where he hits his first shot on me. 
which would have given me plenty of time if I had just walked the corner to get good shots on this guy. Or even once again, my thought process was that he's going to go for reload. I could just check the corner really quick and then begin my sprint up and around towards him. So the, the, the play here of just assuming that what I think is going to happen is what's going to happen and then immediately go for a sprint towards him was absolutely my mistake. I should have checked the corner first. Uh, and we'll go to the next clip and kind of see a similar situation happen. So this was a, a weird clip where a similar situation happened. So uh, I'm in a little like medical station on the new uh, customs expansion and we're uh, I'm just kind of moving around. I'm not hearing anything. This is definitely another clip. W once again, audio on Escape from Tarkov can really be rough and that can oftentimes lead to mistakes. So um, I'm, I'm assuming I'm alone and then almost simultaneously I hear somebody coming up the inside staircase and somebody coming up the outside staircase. Now, my first assumption is that these two are together and that they're just kind of like breaching in. Uh, so I throw in, I'm, I'm basically in triage mode right here. I'm trying to nade this guy to get him to push back while I can hope that this guy basically pushes in right here um, so I can eliminate one and then work on the other. I see this guy's flashlight, so I know he's not close enough to be peeking me here. So I'm waiting for him to come through this little doorway here. He never really does that. And then I hear this guy, I threw the grenade at, kill this guy. And these guys actually came and chat afterwards. And this guy did end up team killing his own person. Uh, he heard the nade and I guess they weren't communicating really well. And that guy ended up team killing. That put me in a really weird spot because I thought these guys were together. Then this guy killed the other guy. And I was like, wait, should I just have been quiet this whole time? Now, once again, the audio got me. So I'll play this audio again where I heard the wood and I thought that this guy was going downstairs, but he ended up going into that little library and I immediately pushed him. I hear that wood right there and I think he's running downstairs, but that was my mistake. He was in this library room. And once again, just like in the other clip, Instead of checking the corner first and then making a sprint, I just sprint around the corner. We run past each other and he was able to kind of get up and get me before I could figure out what happened. So that was the situation that was just weird because I was constantly confused. I was confused as to why the audio, why I didn't hear these guys, why I didn't hear the guy coming downstairs, why I didn't hear anything until they were right up on me. I was confused as to if that guy team killed or if this was just two separate people. And then I was confused by the audio because I thought he was moving downstairs and he was in the library. But either way, even with the audio confusion, once again, the moral of the story here is sprinting around the corner gives me no margin of error. It doesn't give me any time that if I did make a bad call or if there was another person or if anything is going to surprise me, my weapon is down and their weapon is potentially up. Uh, I went for a sprint here and we we were basically doing the same thing. He almost made the same mistake, which meant if I had just walked around this corner, I would have been able to put shots on this guy really quickly um, and potentially drop him or get back behind cover or something. But because I was sprinting, we just kind of passed each other and there it went. So once again, the, the moral here is not that sprinting is always a bad thing in combat, but it's finding the right time and sprinting around a corner when you know there are enemies close. Like I said a little bit ago, it doesn't give any margin of error. And in Tarkov, you absolutely need to, even if you're using audio as your cue. Unfortunately, there's a lot of, uh, Tarkov audio bugs. And even in this scenario, it wasn't even really a bug. I don't think in this building, the stairs make a wood sound. In this particular situation, the audio was a little bugged in the sense that I didn't hear them until they were two feet away from me. But that wood, I should have known from playing that that was the library and not the stairs. And I made a bad call. So 
giving yourself that margin of error. Yes, maybe you'll, uh, you know, peek around a corner and you just missed a guy because you weren't sprinting, but giving yourself, I think more often than not, giving yourself the ability to have a little bit of wiggle room, peek the corner, you can get back to cover if you need to, is going to be way better for you long term. So uh, as always with these videos, I hope that watching me die and then talk about what went wrong helps you potentially learn a little bit. Or if you've ever died in this situation, you can maybe identify what that is. I always encourage people to record their own gameplay, watch it back. Uh, you can even if you just delete the videos right after, but being able to watch back and be like, oh, I'm seeing a theme here when you really break it down helps uh, helps you get better. So this is something that I'm working on is really, really checking corners before I sprint them. And hopefully this helps you uh, be a little bit more proficient in Escape from Tarkov. Thank you as always for taking the time to check out this video. If you liked the video, think about dropping a like, dropping a comment down below, or subscribing to the channel for more content like this. All those things really, really help me out as a creator. So thank you so much to those that do that. Uh, like I said before, I do stream on Twitch. All my links will be down below. I'd love to have you stop by and say hey. And if you're looking for people to play Tarkov with, we have an awesome Discord community. That link is down below as well. We have a few thousand people, Tarkov veterans, new players to Tarkov, and everywhere in between. Thank you again so much for stopping by, and I will see you all on the next one.